there are no mountain lions around here. Ah, except for when you see them. <laughs> except for the ones you see. <laughs> that is such a great line. It was a really fun day. Goofing around and catching up with one of the world's best nature writers, my friend Cy Montgomery, at her home in New Hampshire. Cy has traveled the world to produce a tremendous body of work on all kinds of creatures. We caught the elusive Cy while she was home between adventures. We walked her dog Sally, fed the chickens from our hands, picked bugs off face. each other. Thank you. What is it? Can you identify it? No, Sam? Oh, it's not a tick. That's no, the good no, no, news. No, no, no. And we went inside, where every corner of her house seemed to scream, sigh. Sai and I have felt like kindred spirits over the years, so of course we made time to talk about our love of animals and what they teach us. The idea that we're only supposed to have friendships with one species among the thousands and thousands, that's crazy. If somebody said, you know, I, I only eat one food, I eat nothing but nachos, I never eat anything else, you'd be crazy. I only listen to one song, you know, I only like one color, that you'd be so impoverished. And yet there's so many people who focus entirely, not only on just one species, but like one race or one sex in one neighborhood within one species. <laughs> And I mean, I married a, a human. I have lots of human friends like you, um, but I have friends in, in other species as well. And I don't think that that speaks to, you know, a, a deficit in our growing up either. I think that um, I often hear the phrase or people say they make us more human and I feel like that's true. I don't know that I could really define why that is, but I feel for sure that I'm a better person because of my relationship. Oh, I totally agree. And like what, what is a person? I mean, we, if you go back to human origins, um, we, we lived in nature with, with other species. So that's how I think we cannot be whole otherwise, right? Do you, do you feel as though you've learned not just about an animal's natural history, but lessons about life for yourself? Uh, how, to, how to be a good creature, you know? How do you, how do you be a good creature? How do you be compassionate? And I, and I think animals teach compassion better than anything else. And compassion doesn't necessarily just mean, you know, a little mouse with a sore foot and you try to fix it. But it means getting yourself inside the mind and heart of someone else, seeing someone's soul, looking for their truth. Animals teach you all of that. And that's how you get compassion heart, I think. I do too. You're lonely and you're blue. It's kind of strange the way you change, but then again we all do too.